Hello Earth Signs, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for tuning in to your current energy reading. We're going to be looking at your person, what they're thinking, what they're feeling, what's going on internally with them. Before I begin the reading, I just wanted to thank you so much for being here, of course. Um, if you are after a private reading, please reach out. My email is below. Uh, please feel free to like, share, subscribe, do all those lovely things that you do. It really does mean a lot. Um, and don't forget, this can be for uh, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, <clears throat> especially if you've got heavy earth placement in your chart. Um, this reading can be for you. So we're going to be looking at your special person. So um, what's going on here? How are they feeling, your special person? Okay, there's someone here who has not been able to get over you, especially if there was recently an ending. It's Scorpio energy. It can also be the past. Okay, so a lot of water energy so far. Uh, Pisces and Scorpio have come up in the reading of signs. You may be dealing with one of those signs where it's telling me someone is very emotionally involved right now. Now, the death card is about secrets and keeping things hidden. But the fact that it's reversed would indicate that... Um, <clears throat> It could be some sort of releasing of secrets that's coming up in the cards here. Nonetheless, I'm really being drawn to this middle column and I feel like someone's going through a funk here, especially emotionally speaking. Um, there's a real sensitivity around this person. Now, it's either they feel a couple of things. They feel like the relationship has become way too emotional and they're looking for play and intimacy and flirtation and fun and they're not getting that right now. Um, the Page of Cups tells me that there is something that they've recently been surprised by um, or something that they haven't expected from you, okay? Could be a, a message, something that you've done, something that you didn't do. They may communicate this to you, but there's like this surprise element. Um, I feel like they may be unrealistic in, in, in some ways, though. There's a fantasy here that this person is playing out with you. Now, for a lot of you, it could be um, if you're not currently in contact with this person, if you have had a separation with a death card, a divorce, a breakup, some distance, some time away, it could be that this person is coming up more. Um, either way, I feel like um, if, if you are waiting on that person, it could be a return of the ex or it could be like um, there is a relationship here that you're going to have a second, third, fourth attempt with. Um, it's almost like you're, you're, it's, it's a rebirth in a relationship, which is really um, nice because in a way I feel like there's someone here who wants a fresh start with you, especially if things have been really emotional um, and you you guys have been focusing on the past. It, it's like they're over it. They want to release it in a way. Now, and this is what's, you know, they could even be surprising themselves in a way like, okay, um, earth signs, you know, maybe you did them dirty. Maybe you cheated. Maybe you ghosted. Maybe you disappeared. Maybe you gave them an ultimatum, whatever it is that you've done, it's almost like they want to release it and they want to move on. Um, they miss you. There's a missing kind of energy happening here for a lot of you. Um, the page of wands is like this person wants to have fun with you again. It's like they're begging for it, you know, whatever this fun is, like going on dates or just having a fun conversation, sharing a joke with you. It's almost like they're longing for that feeling once again. They want to reconnect. Um, they want to reconnect very strongly here as well, okay? Um, they're not ready to release you entirely, okay? There's there's a failure to release or there's someone who doesn't want to um, release you at all uh, is, is what could be coming up here. Mm, I do want to say that there's someone who's emotionally like self-sabotaging the relationship because they're, they're scared of maybe your past somehow. Could be one of your exes recently popped up online, recently come back into the picture. Maybe you've mentioned them in a conversation recently. It hasn't left this person's mind and they're still dwelling on it. Okay, the Eight of Swords is all about dwelling on a situation here. So they sort of want to take their mind of things and they want to have a, an injection of fun into the relationship right now um, is what I'm seeing. 
this could be what's unrealistic because it's almost like they want you to forget about your ex entirely if you're still in contact or if you've recently come from a breakup here and this is where that sort of unrealism could be coming into the picture here and that's that's what i could be seeing here i mean i could be wrong earth signs you're coming up as a three and four of pentacles um To them, you are someone that they seek comfort in. And you are someone that's appearing as very strong, cool, calm, collected, and centered. And I wonder if someone is worried that they're too emotional for you. Or that they're becoming too emotionally attached. And then, as I said, they, they, they want to sort of brush it off and, um, you know, cut off the conversation early or... You know, let's just have fun. Let's just do this. Let's just, I wonder if they're compensating for something here. Now there could be, um, get this, there could be a scenario out there, earth signs, where there's someone, this person is just like the friends with benefits type, or this person keeps telling you, I don't want to be anything serious. I'm good. I'm this. I don't need that. I don't have these expectations. But on a subconscious level, that's exactly what they want. And they are almost trying to convince themselves it's not something that they want emotionally. Maybe they're trying to detach and they keep like, I just want to have fun. I just want to do this. I just want to do that. I don't think that's how they genuinely feel. But I also feel like they're either too scared to vocalize their emotions because you've recently ended something maybe, um, or you've recently spoken about your ex maybe, um, and it's made them worry. It's made them in this eight of swords energy. So right now they feel in a stage where they can't move too much. Although... Um, Interestingly, they still have those expectations with the Page of Cups. It's almost like they expect you to read their mind and know what's up and know that what they've been advocating so much, what they keep telling you, like, I don't want this, I don't want that, I'm not that kind of person, you know, I'm chill, I'm laid back. Um, well, not really, no. No, you're not, because, you know, they keep compensating, overcompensating to the point, really, I think. And this is what's making me think that there's, yeah, something... Um, Something much deeper going on uh, is, is, is what I'm sensing from this. Um, but obviously, each situation is going to be different. But like I said, they're in a Pisces and Scorpio energy. This is strong water energy. Um, I feel like they're very emotionally sensitive, much more than you're completely aware of. So be delicate with them right now if you can be. Or there might be certain things you could be more attuned to um, or even to be more aware of their words and their behavior. It'll help you a lot in 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 progressing in this connection i feel i'll leave it at that though earth sign so thank you once again for tuning in please don't forget to like share subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell notification button to get reading updates for your sign um otherwise much love many thanks and until next time uh probably tomorrow um i'll uh, catch you then so take care in the meantime and bye for now